Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Quinn here, Tactical and Practical. Hope you guys are doing good. You know I always love it when uh, we get a box in the mail. And we got one. So, we're going to check it out. As some of you know, I've been looking around for what to put on my 3030. We have looked at the Vortex Viper PST uh, 1 to 6 by 24. The LPVO, great scope, super clear. Uh, it just looks a little tactical for that uh, lever gun. And I have bolt action guns that uh, I don't mind that look. But, um, you know, the lever gun is a little bit more nostalgic. Um, so we've got another scope under consideration. It's the loophole. It's the, um, the, the, I'm looking at the, when you're looking at the loophole scopes, the VX line typically are for hunting. The um, Mark line are the more tactical scopes. This is the Mark III, uh, three to nine, and it has the uh, mill dot reticle. Now, I really was looking at a hunting reticle, but at the time that I was shopping for these, they were out, unfortunately, of the hunting reticle. So I had to make a decision, either get something or not get something. Interestingly, in the VX line, now you'll notice that the 3x9 is it's still available in the Freedom line, but they don't make the 3x9 anymore in the VX 3HD line. Um, you get the new 3 to 9 now is basically the 2.5 to 10. Um, so when I saw this Mark III was listed as, um, they, they had it in stock, so I went ahead and ordered it. But after having done so, immediately after I placed the place order button, um, they had the other one in stock. And again, given the 3030, um, is light, agile, fast handling gun. I think that this may even be a little bit on the big side for what we are looking for. So the replacement for this that's coming, and I think it will be the final choice, is going to be the VX 2.5 by 8 by 36. So slightly smaller objective lens. Um, which should look really nice on that 3030. I can't mount this because I can't return it. Um, but maybe I'll just set it on the ring so you guys get an idea of the scale. It really doesn't look like it would overpower the 3030. I think it would be okay on there. First things you notice are the loophole quality. It doesn't have the little, the little, um, like, I think it's a Jaguar or something. They had a little emblazoned badge. It is just the uh, L that's stamped on here. It has the exposed turrets clicks are easy audible with zero stop is pretty easy to manage this does not have the uh, push button zero stop system like the VX does so that might be a little bit of an upgrade the thing is super light I mean you this probably weighs uh, close to 10 ounces less than that Vortex PST. I know it's not the best light. It's evening. Maybe we'll see if we can get a couple shots of this during the day. And it goes down. We start on three. It comes with the throw lever that's installed. It appears that it's a simple blade screwdriver to take it off. And it takes you up to nine on a suit. Pretty, let's see, it's about, it's not even 180 degrees to get you around there. And let's look, look through it here and see what we think. Okay, it's similar to the duplex reticle, uh, except that instead of the posts ending in a point to go to the fine crosshairs, um, they are kind of barred off at a 90 degree. And then along the reticle, you have the little dots. Let's get this down to... Down, and I'll see if I can put the glass on there so you can... Uh, maybe see that radical um, super well made I mean the simplicity in design is is really nice I mean they're they're elegant 
I don't think this is going to, oh, there you are, right there, actually. Let me see if I can get you on there enough to see that reticle. I think you're going to probably need a white background, which we might be able to do something for you. Um, the thing is, when you are buying a, something that is nice and you want it to last for a long time, right, um, you don't want to have to buy it more than once, clearly. And so it's good to be a little picky. And what I mean by that is that you get the reticle that you really want. And for this particular rifle, let's see. I'm going to have to come up with a better method to get, show you guys these reticles. There it is. All right, that gives you an idea what it looks like right there. The dots aren't overly obtrusive, but on a 3x9 hunting rifle, or a 3x9 placed on my 3030, a hunting rifle that to me, for all intents and purposes, is probably going out to 200 yards. I am never going to have to worry about using a dot for a holdover on this thing, unless I saw a pig maybe at 300 or 400 yards and was just feeling real crazy. Um, the chances of that happening with this particular rifle are not very likely. Uh, that's really part of the other reason why I was switching this thing back out to the 2x8 because it comes in the duplex. I could have gotten the, or the 2.5 to 8, I could have gotten the 2.5 to 10, but it's just a little bit more than I needed and I prefer to have the slightly lower, slightly smaller sized um, objective. Um, the bell on there is a little bit, little bit tighter. It feels like the... Um, eyepiece on this it has a real nice shape it's almost like a little rounded bubble shape it feels like the eyepiece on this is smaller than that vortex pst um, throw lever is easy to maneuver well made clicks on the turret are positive you can tell when you're clicking it good audible sound zero stops not mushy at all um, i did not get anything with illumination it's not i have it on a couple other scopes but it's not something that um, i will be using that much for this. Clearly marked windage knob on the side, capped. And that's pretty much it. These are simple in design and designed to last a very long time. One of the main advantages of this scope over the other scope so far that I've evaluated for mounting on that 3030 is the weight. Um, really, you can feel the difference. And when we're talking about a seven pound lever gun, an extra pound um, is perceptible, particularly when you pace it, put it right on the top of the gun. Um, really a nice, well-made scope, well thought out, ergonomically correct, looks good, feels good. It doesn't feel as substantial as the uh, PST. However, that could just be that the erector system is slightly different for a couple of reasons. Um, this is a 30 millimeter tube, just as is the Vortex PST but this doesn't have to have the internals at least this particular model doesn't have the internals that you need for the illumination and this doesn't have a 1x and i think that to get that 1x on the pst uh, vortex has to add some additional components inside that erector to make that happen um, and that costs you some weight so it just doesn't matter of what what you're looking for uh, usa designed machined assembled you don't see that on a whole lot of products. The Henry, uh, you see it on the rifle, um, made in America or not made at all, I think is something that they say. And that's it. That's all you get. You get a sticker, uh, you get a little Allen wrench for the, uh, maybe if you have to change where the zero stop is would be my guess. Um, I'm going to take this out in better lighting conditions, maybe around dawn, and we'll look through it again and see what she looks like. Um, but it's just a fine piece of equipment. You know, they don't, there's no, they make no bones about it. It is just a really nice rifle scope and um, a lot of the reviews I read online talked about how these mill dots are really obtrusive uh, I don't think they are they're not obviously as clean as the pure duplex um, if I were going to be using these bubbles these little dots on here these uh, for holdover regularly I don't think they would bother me I think I would actually use them for me, it's just a matter of the scope that we're actually talking about. Uh, the, the rifle we're actually talking about putting the scope on um, is such that it will never need to use those holdovers. So 
That's why when you're buying, like I was getting at, when you buy something that you think is going to last a long time and you want to buy once and then be done with it, um, make sure that you take the time to be picky about it and get the reticle you want. If you want the duplex reticle, I probably could have waited to, to order something until it was in stock, but I got a trip coming up and I was thinking I might um, use this, mount it up, and then just be happy with it and live with it. But then when I was notified that the other ones are in stock, um, you know, just because I'm in a rush to go out and go hunt this weekend, I've got other rifles that are ready to go, so I don't need to be in a rush. That's the, uh, that's the lesson here. Don't be in a rush. Take your time to make sure you get what you want. Buy nice or buy twice. Not much to that scope. It's just a well-designed, well-made, precision piece of equipment. Maybe we'll get a little bit of a look-see through it once the sun's up and let you know what we see and try to get you through the reticle at a couple different magnifications. Hopefully it'll help inform your decision, but the easy boy, you know, fork in the road is if you're hunting there, the VX line is, has kind of hunter friendly um, features. And if you're more of a tactical precision shooter, then the, um, the Mark series is maybe where you want to go. Um, for me, if I'm using a scope for a precision rifle, I'm probably not going to get a 3 to 9 to 40. I mean, I'm probably going to get something with a bigger objective and some more magnification capabilities. Um, but, you know, to each his own. That's why they make chocolate and vanilla. Um, out of the box, the thing is, it looks as well made as you would expect it to, given that the loophole name is on there. Um, hard to make any um, judgments about the glass yet till we get it out in some better light. So we'll try to do that and we'll get back to you and wrap this up. Thank you so much. Like the video if I forget to remind you at the end. All right, well, we were going to show you this uh, rifle scope here. And uh, all these turkeys showed up. So, let's see if we can put it on. That's uh, three times power. And let's go up. Six times power is pretty difficult for me to get for you guys. It's uh, super clear. Or at, uh, oh, pardon me, nine times, I mean, not six. Nine times, no problem. A little difficult, I'm just holding this free hand. Critical is nice. It's not like a pure black, it's kind of a, it's like a charcoal, sort of. Glass is real clear. You get a little bit of wiggle room in the eye box. Um, let me see if I can try to get these guys one more time for you before they peel out of here. They're leaving. They ain't sticking around really for us. Uh, but we can go back to our other test where we put this baby over on the by the saucer swing and we'll Line you up. Hopefully we'll get you around that bird feeder. Or pardon me, birdhouse. I keep calling it a feeder, it's a house. That looks pretty good. Okay, I'll give you a couple shots through the reticle Mark III HD loop hold. Uh, it's well made. Um, now this is probably a function of the fact that this thing starts at 3 power and goes up to 9 from there, but um, the PST is 
the Vortex PST to me seems to be uh, brighter. But again, that PST is, oh, we gotta zoom this out, that's the problem. There, okay, that's naked eye. Oh yeah, I got you right on that, right on that fence deal. Move you over a little bit. There you go, three times. Um, but it could be a product of the fact that it has different mag magnification, and so that PST uh, is brighter as a result of that, because it's a one to six. This takes you up to six times. I'm gonna have to invent a better way to get you guys in these scopes. There you go, it's six. And finally, up at nine. Now, ultimately, it looks like I'm probably going to be going with the um, two and a half to eight VX3 HD two and a half to eight, as opposed to this Mark III uh, HD. It's a little trickier to get your perfect. There you go, a little bit at nine. and nine power. Um, it's super light, feels well made, like I said before, precision instrument. Um, it feels like maybe that PST is a little bit brighter. Could be a function of the magnification, so maybe a better test will be when we have that two and a half by eight um, out here. And when we have that, uh, we'll see if that two and a half level seems any brighter. And then we can uh, kind of make a determination from there. Um, the weight factor is big for me, that extra 10 ounces that it costs you to have the, the Viper is a little bit significant. So we'll consider that. Um, oh look, there's a deer right here in front of us. Let's see if we can get you on that deer. It's pretty close though. I don't know that we're gonna be able to uh, do that this, uh, from this distance. Let's see. This is on three. There's no parallax adjustment on these. A lot easier to pick up that radical for you. When it's on three power. Uh, like I said, it feels like the vortex might be A little bit brighter but again that could be the fact that the lowest this thing goes is three so when we get that um, the two and a half to eight and the VX 3 HD from loophole we will kind of do a comp apples to apples comparison and make sure that we have um, same magnification on both and then kind of assess the brightness um, this is a 30 millimeter tube although that really just makes I guess room for more uh, adjustments from the guts that deer is really cooperating with us this morning. Um, don't, so I hope this helped. Uh, you got a couple shots from the radical down the field. Hopefully you caught those turkeys. Uh, maybe you got to see the deer. And um, this is a, a well-made scope, well-designed. It is light. That's really the draw for me. I do like that uh, Vortex Viper PST Gen 2, one to six. Uh, it's going on my 30-30 lever gun, but I'm gonna evaluate the loop hold, slightly smaller than this, two and a half to eight, with only a 36 millimeter objective instead of this is the 40. Uh, except for the VX, the Freedom line, I think this is the only three to nine to 40 that Leupold is making. They no longer offer one from the VX family. So you have to go to the HD. It does have those uh, mill dot, the mill dot reticle. So it's not as clean as the duplex. And that's part of the reason why I think I'm gonna go a different direction. But otherwise, I think this would fit on that 30-30, no problem, and would look right and look good. Um, if you are into tactical style rifle scopes and you're looking for a three to nine, you can't really go wrong with this. Given the light, it's, it's how light it is, uh, the warranty that's behind it, 
the glass is super clear and crisp. It's what you would expect from Loophole. Their name's on the box. Uh, but it may not be as bright as some other options out there, so we'll keep digging, do a couple more comparisons, and then come back with you guys. Appreciate you tuning in. As always, if you liked the video or it was informative, please like it down below, subscribe to the channel. It helps me to try to get this thing moving, and then hopefully we'll keep them coming. Thanks a lot. See ya.